Well, hey there, Sharon Hornells from here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag in pajama, of course, hashtag pajama in the comments below and let me know it is the first time you are hearing my voice, seeing my face, or being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today is day four of a 30-day Facebook Live challenge that I am participating in and doing it for everybody on my Super Size Your Business group page. Anybody in the group can join the challenge and do it along with me or just follow along and learn about the process of how to actually supersize your business. If you're watching and listening and participating at the end of 30 days, you will actually have created a framework and an outline for how to supersize your business. Today is all about the challenge has different themes with it. And today's is about a book. Think about a book and share a book with everyone. And what I'm doing then is tying it into a book that has something to do with the process of supersizing your business. So today I was looking around for books and as I, I look around me, I have thousands of books. I'm a, I love reading. I love books. I love learning. And as I'm looking at the titles and the piles of the books, I find it fascinating that it actually ties into the theme of what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is what the heck is supersize? What does it mean? And how can I do it if I don't know what it means? I have to know what it means first, right? Well, as I look around at all the different books and all the different titles, I realize that all of the books are my way of searching for meaning because each of us has to create the meaning for everything in our lives on our own. And this might sound kind of weird or kind of deep, but what I mean by that is we shouldn't have our alarms going off in the middle of our Facebook lives or in the middle of our videos. But that happens because I'm not always paying attention when I start talking to what time it is and how long I'm talking. But today, the thought about the books and about all of them are I read and I choose and we all read and choose the books that we're going to read or experience based on what it is that we want to learn, what it is that we want to do, how we want to grow, how we want to change, how we want to be influenced. Because books that we read have an influence on us. So today I picked a book called Infinite Possibility by Mike Dooley. And the reason I picked Infinite Possibility is because I went and randomly picked a book on my bookshelf that I thought would tie into the topic of what we're talking about. And it does because we all get to define as business owners especially the rules of the game that we're playing, which is a, the game of business and the game of life. And that means we all get to define super size for ourselves. So what super size means to me doesn't really matter to you and your business. The only thing that matters is how you define super size. What does super size mean to you? When I say I'm going to super size my business and I may or may not tell people I'm doing that, it means something different to me than it does to them but what they hear will be what supersize means to them if I don't clarify that. So let's say that supersize my business means that I am going to create a billion dollar business. Then I've defined that and I say that's what it means to me. But it might also be that my billion dollar business not only makes a lot of money, but it also makes the world a better place, is of high integrity, it serves people in XYZ way, whatever that is for me and how I want to show up in the world, I get to define and choose all of that. And that's why I like the, the Infinite Possibility book. This is just a book that's a, a compilation of different stories and thoughts, wisdom thoughts. And I have several of those books, just like I have a lot of books about um, Nine Declarations to Declare Your Power, the, Ma the Motivation Manifesto by Brendan Burchard. And I have a Habits book by Brendan Bouchard sitting here because I haven't read them yet. I have a Jack Canfield book, Think and Grow Rich, of course. Excuse Me, Your Life is Waiting, um, Flip Book, a, a couple of workbooks, um, Manifest Your Destiny, of course, The Daily Scare Share, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You, uh, a couple of other books. I mean, but I, I am surrounded. But I, I went into my office and my huge bookshelf. I looked by my desk and by my computer and I've got a stack of books there. I looked in my bedroom. I thought, well, what books do I have above my head? And I went through that pile of books and there happened to be a lot of books by successful online marketers there because I've been buying those over the last few years and reading them because I knew that I wanted to make a new direction and change the way 
I was running my businesses and running my life. And so I have a lot of books about that. But my best advice is become an avid reader, become a studier and a learner, and realize that as a business owner, it's up to you to define supersizing your business in any way that you want and that serves you and that honors your personal power because that's what it's all about. So today your assignment is to decide what supersize means to you. Decide what supersizing your business means to you. If you're brave, share it in the comments below. And if you're not, that's okay too. Just write it down and keep it to yourself. But go ahead and write it down. Just say supersizing my business means, and then fill in, say three or four lines at a minimum of what it means to you. And it could be, I would recommend making it not just a monetary number, make it something that's, that speaks to you, but define it in any way you want. I mean, if it's just a number, it's just a number for you right now. Go ahead and define it that way. But you define supersize today. That's it. Have a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow with day five of our 30-day Supersize Your Business Challenge.